Welcome everyone to the Truffle Shuffle. Today we are going to go see the Grand Rapids Comic Con. This is the third day that's been running. This is my third visit to the Comic Con. We got some comics to go get signed. Hopefully we'll get that test done. And we'll go explore some of the booths that they have at the Comic Con. Right now we're going to go through the Skywalk all the way to the arena. It pretty much runs from the Van Andel Arena all the way to the Convention Center through all the local hotels and everything else. Well, follow me. We're here now. We started here. And we are going all the way to here. So, good amount of walking, good exercise. And now we're gonna be entering into the Amway Green. Which is the beautiful old hotel. You've probably seen it in my art prize video. It had some of the art in there. If you're ever walking around downtown you need to use the bathroom right here it's always clean always nice and always warm and to make sure you're walking in the right direction they've nicely placed these signs telling you where you need to go and we're almost there this is the original arena right there for Grand Rapids area now it's a ballroom uh, I saw the World Wrestling Federation and 1995 at that arena. I'll see the ECW at that arena right before this arena closed. So, it's a beautiful place, also. Now, this is the size of the exhibit hall. Like I said, here's the, the boss hall and the convention center. Now, before we get going too far into this video, I would like to thank Mark and Brandon, both of the Grand Rapids Comic Con, for invited me out to cover this event for my YouTube channel. I mean, they gave me a press pass, and it's been enjoyable. I was even able to have my niece out yesterday. You might see her in a couple of my shots I filmed yesterday. Um, she enjoyed it, and we were able to meet some great artists and have a lot of fun. She even had her got to show her art to some famous comic book artists. All right, now let's go into the convention. I'm going to apologize if the auto quality for this video is too bad. Just on the mere fact that there is a lot of people here. So I'm going to do my best to capture all my voice as possible. Alright, so shall we first go try to get an autograph? This is the first time that we're going to get an autograph. Renee, we're gonna get go get it signed by Renee Wittenstadter. Alright, so here we are. Now, yesterday was ten times more busier than this. There's estimated about eight thousand people here yesterday. And it was very hard to get around and film anything. So I decided not to film yesterday. But today is the last day and we have to get some work done. Check this thing out. Iron Giant. It's almost like a life-size replica head and hand. Now, twenty dollars for charity, you can you can sit in this hand. A picture in his hand or a picture in front, and all goes to charity. Ooh, we got some Ghostbusters in front of us. We got the dress up our Jeep. All right, we're trying to find Renee. Hello. 
Batman. You got the Ghostbusters Club. Dr. Mortos, the local. Mike and Sully, they even got a scare room. Where you can try it out. Uh, the venue, they got John Rattensburg, Adrian Paul, Sarah Mitchie, Doug Jones, Ricky Brownie, Tim Rose from Star Wars fame. He played Commander Edbar. All right, let's go and see how easy this is to converge. This is the artist section. It looks like some booths left. So, she might not even be here. Ooh. Ooh. Are those 3D painted? No, they're, they're twisted wire. Oh. Yeah, so you got like Jason, Pinhead. Wonder Woman. Ghost Rider. <laughs> it's a Slimer from yeah. Ghostbusters. Superman, That's Ant awesome. Oh, that Alright, no luck yet. I believe we got one more roll. Yeah. Ah, I found her. All right, we weren't able to film it, but we got it. So, your kids might have seen this. Agnes Grabowska. Here. And she draws all the DC girls and the My Little Pony. Hello. Some beautiful pieces here by Dan Street. So I was just talking to the gentleman there. He colors the books. He has artists drawing for me. He colors for them. I spent a half minute. Oh, there's another RT unit. Now there will be other Comic Cons in the West Michigan area in the coming year. There will be in Holland, there will be one in Muskegon called Muskegon. Try and find a booth that gives information about those and then I'll go over a little bit more detail about it. I'm talking to the gentleman, he said a lot of the artists and a lot of the local artists and a lot of the Vendors will be there for that are at this con as well, and they're a little bit more smaller style, but still a lot of fun to attend. <coughs> All right, here's what we're looking for: Tulip City Comic Con, April 8, 2019, in Holland, Michigan, at Double Tree in Holland, Michigan. And also, Muskecon, March 23rd, in the Holiday Inn in Muskegon.
So you should go check that out if you like to go to cons. Uh, another convention that's coming up. There's AstroCon to Sterling Heights, Michigan, February 8th through the 10th. Looking at the Wyndham Garden. You're not? Yes. Some of the guests appearing will be Dustin Rhodes, the Boogeyman, Tiny Lister, Scott Steiner, Scott Hall, and the Comic Book Man. So it should be a great show to go to as well. Yeah. We got On Card, Hulk Hogan, Rick Martell. This is the Old Republic Custom Prop Shop. Here they got all these great custom props. Here's all the information if you're interested. That's right, folks. We're at Galaxy Creations here at Grand Rapids Comic Con. Cool stuff, props, it's all here. Come and see us next year. The Mandalorian Tricon Clan. Look at all these Mandalorian helmets. Colby. Colby. Even custom female ones. Uh, custom G.I. Joe. Uh, Channel Awesome was here. They might be out doing a panel or something. Yeah, odd one is out. Our twins were here today too, also. Jake Busey. Now we're going to get this signed by the great Kevin Eastman. Great. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now we got the great Kevin Eastman. Okay, you want me to sign that? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. It's like, it's like your own little postcardy thing. I put like a little doodle on here. most of my comics what? and I lost most of my comics I own I had a whole bunch of turtle comics oh, like the Savage Dragon turtles combo comics oh, and stuff like that, was that. A fun one. and I lost most of them and I went through my collection and I was able to find this one. Oh, dude that's awesome so I was like whoo at least I got one <laughs> this is a this was a attention um, please merchandise that I was reading when I was a kid this was my favorite comic I read Real, 30 real minutes before the end of merchandise at the Odd Ones Out, booth 142. Thank you. I just love the style of art uh, that you do. It's great. Right, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Yep. Nice meeting you too. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. There it is. Got my Kevin Easton comic, and we achieved our goal of getting all the comics. Sign. Now we can explore more of the Comic Con. Right here we got a Lego representation of the game Mist, which is like a click and point. Looks like it's from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's got the Milano. Look! Bowser! Some other creations of Grand Rapids Michigan. Some Legos. 
Got the blue bridge. The art museum. These all come from DW Studios. Built with buildings representing real buildings in Grand Rapids. And for some reason, Iron Man is fighting people dressed as bananas. are from the Droid Builders at droidbuilders.info. They create their own droids that work and talk and can be driven around. Freshly 3D printed helmet. We did um a hockey game. Nice camel speeder bike helmet. And this is the Rebel Legion. There's some custom cosplay outfits. Same people. There's General Grievous cosplay. Oh. Pens galore. Lots of vinyl stickers around here. Some more custom sculptures. At this booth, they got your classic WCW. Oh, it's little playing card or trading cards. Oh, GI Joe's.
welcome to their first state students. They're our volunteers. Oh, they're great. They're interns. Yeah. From yeah. first state. Yeah. So I'm going to coordinate it with the Care State and with WGBU. We have room for about 160 kids. Let me get your Oh, we'll get you in there too. That was Mark Kissel, PBS legend from the Imagination Station. You might remember him from going draw, 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 draw. Like I said, this happens every year. It goes for three days, about twenty dollars a day. Or you can buy a three-day pass. And I think it's worth it if you're a big comic book fan or you like to collect things. There's something for just about everyone here. There's anime, there's comics, there's cosplay stuff. There's movie items. And it's fun for all the ages, too. Now this booth is run by Lane's, and Lane's is a store that we would go to when we were kids and buy all of our comics from every Thursday. I think we've just about seen all the important stuff that's around here. Like I said, there's always the automobiles for... There's always vehicles, there's always photo ops, there's autograph signs. Alright, now we're going to go check out the upstairs section where they have a gaming area where you can rent board games. Thank you. And they have panels and non-stop anime. Now there's only about two hours left of today and then it's done for the year. Like I said, there's additional opportunities throughout the year. If you go to the, there's a couple convention websites where you just search for comic book conventions, you can find all your local conventions around you. And there's usually quite a bit. Now we are up on the second level, heading towards the game area, where they have vintage arcade games and all the board games that you can actually rent and play while you're at the convention. You got many versions of Pac-Man arcade. Check out that view. And that's the outside of the convention center. Now they got escape rooms here this year, but I wasn't able to get in any of them because they put up real fast. But all these tables that they have set here is for the board games themselves. They even got the one of the best arcade games ever. Turtles. On this room, they have a whole bunch of gaming systems and you can go around and play different systems for different machines and different types of games. So they've got Crazy Taxi, Famicom system, Sega Saturn, Atari, got projectors playing PS3, PS4 games on. Got Wii U's, Mario Kart challenges, and they're even having Super Smash Brothers competitions also. So there's something to do to get away from everything and to take bricks throughout the county so you're not just walking around.
and it seems to be getting bigger every year. So who knows what's going to happen next year. So you guys should all come out to the Grand Rapids Comic Con at the DeVos Place in Grand Rapids, Michigan. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the Grand Rapids Comic Con 2018. If you enjoyed it, the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Until the next adventure, goodbye.